What's up, people? A while ago, I made a video showing uh, how to use the picture-in-picture -picture feature with the updated iMovie, and people are still watching that and, and saying thanks. So uh, I thought I would show uh, something else that you can do. It's kind of a workaround. Uh, iMovie doesn't include built in the, the feature of putting picture in picture for photos. It only does it for video. So you can have a video here and a video here or a picture here and a video here. But you can't have a video or picture here and a photo, just a photo here. Well, actually you can, but you have to do this workaround that I'm about to show you. So we'll go into iMovie. Hi. And yeah, whatever. Just pick some video. It's, I think I made this and I never uploaded it. Uh, and hit the edit button <clears throat> and uh, we'll go back to the beginning so you can look at my lovely face with my fat chin <laughs> and let's say we want to put a photo in here right so we would go to photos first I'll just show you how it doesn't work and what am I gonna look at here uh, <laughs> I don't know we'll just pick one of these okay here so now I, I just clicked on that photo and that's what it does if you do that, okay? So, oops, sorry. Just delete. They changed it on me again, so sometimes I get confused, but okay. So you notice it doesn't like give you the option, like when you put a, hit a video, right? I'll just go ahead and do that now. Go back to video and recently added. Here's another video. Here's a video of a bird that had flown into our window, right? So when you push that, it gives you these, this little menu. Um, and this is uh, separate, this is picture in picture, and this is side by side. So you just see that, you get your picture in picture, and there you go, see? And the video plays. But let's say, right, we'll delete that little bird. He, he was okay after a while, but he needed a little time. Uh, to recover <laughs> from the collision. We'll cut that to get it ready. What you do is, you, it's a bit of a pain, but once you get used to it, it's not too bad. You make a new project, and I'll try to do it as fast as I can. It's a new movie, right? Simple. Create. Uh, add a photo from, we'll do this Hitman one again. I just don't want to call up the photos and show a picture of you know my wife or something, because she doesn't like to be on camera. So we'll just say this one. And uh, this is my Halloween costume a couple years back. Okay, so now you've got a photo, but it's in movie format. Now you want to be careful because it automatically does this Ken Burns effect thing. If you want it to just stay still, you go to the beginning and set it like that. And then you go to the end and put it in the same spot so that it doesn't actually move. And even then it still moved a little bit. So, I don't know, it, it might be difficult to get it to be totally stationary, but at least you're getting the photo right into the, into the little picture. So, but sometimes it's fun to let it move around a bit. So we'll start there and at the end we'll uh, let it go up here, get the red tie action going. All right, and then that's it. That's all you have to do. Could have done it a lot faster actually. And then it's, it's short, so it's fast. Go ahead and save that video. And just to be, it doesn't matter, we'll save it in 1080, because it's going to be fast regardless, it's 6 seconds. Exporting movie, and bam, it's now in my photo library. Back to the other project, which has the same thumbnail now, but... Right, so we're here. Now let's see, we want to put a photo here, in this uh, picture, in picture. Pip. Go to, no, you don't go to photos, because we just saw that doesn't work. So you go to video, recently added, and you have this guy now and you can do it and there it is and then if you want to adjust it you can move it around with this put it up here in the corner and you're stuck with this um, aspect ratio so I mean in some cases that can come in handy for you know being able to see the whole thing but you can change the size obviously uh, like this Arara. sorry that's the size of what's inside of it and then if you want to make it bigger or smaller, or like I could even do this if I wanted to. <laughs> Actually, you're only stuck with the same aspect ratio or with this aspect ratio if you use this uh, picture in picture. But if you 
do this, down here you have some other options. So if you want to make a vertical orientation, you can do that. It's obviously a little different. Um, it's more of a picture and picture than a picture in picture, but it does allow you to make it vertical if that's if you have a photo that's um, you know in portrait mode and you want to do it that way. So it works Thanks. the same way. So those options are available, as you can see here. Uh, so I hope this helps. The point is, you can do it. So now you know, if you didn't know before. Thank you for watching. Uh, this has been a tutorial <laughs> on how to use picture in picture with uh, iMovie on an iPad or an iPhone. It works the same. And frankly, I find it much easier to use iMovie on the touch devices compared to the computer, although it's not as full featured. So yeah. There you go. Thanks again for watching. Bye-bye.